-hmm. So the grid doesn't line up perfectly. I tried my best, but <laughs> uh, welcome everyone to uh, Manchester by night. Um, we're jumping back in this time, catching back up with the confrontate the confrontation in the underground facility. So we come back into the scene with Jax and Baxter. Um, if you two could drag yourselves onto the map, in this sort of area. Which sort of area? Where I'm pinging. Uh, I'm not seeing the ping. Yeah. Do you see where Jax is? I do not. All I see is the map of Manchester. Oh. Hey, Manchester. Nope, oh, nope. I just I reloaded my roll twenty. I can see. Okay. Now. Okay. <laughs> On this line, roundabouts in this area. I do not have a picture for Baxter up at the moment, apparently. So it'll be the base. Apologies. That is fine. Um. What's Kelly doing here? So. Oh! Is you that, good? I said I'm eating churros at the same time and I picked up one just popped in my mouth without looking. It was loaded with sugar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, nothing like a good old sugar bomb. So it turns out we're getting takeaway for tea tonight as well. Mum mm. just decided as she got home. But <laughs> anyway. Um, we left off last time with Baxter and Jax having a conversation with another kindred. Didn't really seem that interested in sticking around and talking to you very much as he fled with the turned child. Um, and Basically, as he left, fleeing down a passage ahead of you, a, gr a gangrel stepped out before you, clearly lost. Sorry, I'm, I'm stumbling over my words a bit tonight. He has clearly lost himself to the beast and is staring you down with nothing but bloodlust in his eyes. Oh, okay. I just wanted to look at it. <laughs> um, no before we... Hmm? I read that fingers both celebrity. Oh, I see. I'm clicking on the wrong bit. Uh, uh. I read that fingers both celebrity and celery. <laughs> um, celery. Before we jump straight into the combat scene, those up above Baxter and... Uh, Jax went down into the underground facility probably around 10 minutes ago at this point. And there's been no word from them since. I feel like Lillian would have gave them a full 2-3 minutes before following. Okay. So Lillian's going to follow. Zane, what are you doing? Who else is left up here? Is it yeah. just Lay's Just character? Kaz, yeah. Um, Zane would turn to Kaz and be like, do you want me to stay up with you or do you want me to go and check it out too down there? Uh, well, the bigger question is, would uh, Lilia, Lillian? Lillian. Lillian. Would Lillian have left her butler up as well? What, would you have left John? John, oh. that's the name. Pillar John. John will probably stay up there for now. It's not exactly like he's built for fighting. Yeah, hey. so John is staying up there with you. 
John, if anything happens, you know what to shout. Um, Let's go down there to make sure they don't get themselves killed. Mm -hmm. So this would have been at the like four minute mark, you said, Lillian? Around about three, four minutes? Yeah. And then you two would have followed down after her? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So the passages under here aren't that long, and most of the time they spent down here was, like, in conversation. Um, so you would probably get down here going through this tunnel, which I don't, none of you three have been down here. But you see the open rooms with the exam tables and blood. Um scattered around the place, you see bodies, kindred, human, just dismembered or dismantled, piled up in one of the rooms. Um, and you would come to the door, probably as they're kind of gearing up to fight the gangrel, you'd hear a deep kind of rumbling growl coming from the other side of the door. And probably whatever Jackson, Baxter are saying or doing. Um, we'll say it'll be kind of one round because there aren't really rounds usually, it's just for the turn, people state what they're going to do at the top of the turn, and then you roll your dice pools. Um, and the order is dictated by the action you choose to take. So, we'll start the first round of mm -hmm. combat as you guys are making your way down here. Feel free to um, direct me on there, as I can't seem to do it myself. Okay. So... Lillian? Um... So, that's Lillian. As... Oh, you don't have a picture for Zane. That's because Zane is invisible. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> no, I, I was trying to add one just then. I was going to add a stupid one since I haven't got one ready, but I literally cannot find how to do it. Uh, if you click on Zane and then click edit up at the top, yeah. Then I you mean, should be able to. to do oh, yeah, add. I've seen it. I was just being an idiot. So, while uh, Rebecca's sorting her thing. Jax Baxter, you two and the gangrel ready yourselves for combat as there doesn't seem to be a way around at this time. Given he is in frenzy, he's not going to let you go without a scratch. This time, you thought we were going to go around it? Potentially, but. <laughs> Jack, so me. you you have to understand, Santa. I have a yeah. thing in my games where people just try to avoid combat in a lot of them. So, <laughs> um, but yeah. So, why would I want the descriptions? I mean... just want to know what they do. Ah. Uh, just open them for that. So if you go on your sheet yeah, down, I, you I know how you can do it, but I just thought that'd be an easier way. It really wasn't. <laughs> I mean, if you do that, like click the speech bubble next to the power and not the 
discipline. Oh, yeah. uh, I was hoping to check them all at once. There's not really much point now. Might as well just open them. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, I did that on his sheet. Well, you know he's a gangrel anyway. Um, as this is happening, Wolf is looking at Jax, um, and I rolled a rouse check because Wolf is also activating, uh, feral weapons. Yeah. So his fingers are becoming more like bestial claws, um, as he looks at Jax. Well, Jax, mon ami, would you like to, uh, take the first lead, or would you prefer me to do such? Let me just work out what I do first. Yeah, no worries. No rush. I think. All right. Second, let's take a minute. There's been a bit. Ooh. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry, I'm just keep reading Frenzy to make sure I understand it. <laughs> it's a weird one. It doesn't say he can't use his disciplines while he's in Frenzy. The positive rating of the user to the order. Which is interesting. So one activation uh, damage value. they can only use uh so if it's frenzy they can only use physical disciplines. Oh that's fine, that's uh, all he's got, so yeah. Yep. Oh well I assume so he's game grill, but how does one like determine your how how does one determine your own damage? Um that's based on the rolls. It's I it's see. not Yeah, no, that not, makes sense. If you're using a weapon, you go off that weapon's damage rating, but you're using your fists. So that'll be purely based off the roll. Um... Use the tuner. Oh, no, I'm down. Oh, or... Oh, oh, oh. It's just a big, angry bastard, really, isn't it? It's not even a big, angry bastard. It's an emaciated, angry bastard. No, he's a big angry bastard. He he's like he's like he's he's like, you know, a scrawny, but he's tall, like wiry. He still like looks very bear. strong. He still looks strong, it's just his instead of having that bulk, he's just very wiry muscle. Um well. So the way that combat works is you tell me what you want to do, and then we'll assign your um, dice pool from that. Alright, here's what I want to do. I'm going to approach, ducking whatever attack it is he inevitably probably ends up swinging at me. Okay. But, so you're... Okay, so... What are you trying to do? Because we need to establish your dice pool before... I am going to... Think. I'm gonna go for reverse STO. So, grab the head, grab the arm, and then kick the legs out from under him and just fucking force face plant. It just smash his head into the ground. Okay, so your dice pool, it would be your strength plus brawl. So, how many dice is that? That. Is seven, eight, if you'll allow me to use my expertise in grappling. Uh, yes, but you said you're also preparing to dodge? 
Uh, not really. That was just my wrestling brain going. Ah, he's probably going to throw a clothesline. At him. Okay. Are you acti- are you activating any disciplines before you jump? Activating in? disciplines. Why? Yes, I suppose I was going to do that, and then promptly forgot I was going to do that. Um, I would like to activate uh, prowess. Is that the right one? Yes. Mm-hmm. Which just increases my damage while I'm at fighting unarmed. So, yeah. Okay, so roll me a rouse check. Oh boy! How do I do that? Um. Slash V. Slash V rouse? Yeah. So your hunger increases. Very well, nonetheless. So you check it in on your sheet. Alright, we are now at the two hungry. Yeah, because you always have one hunger anyway, unless then... you feed to death. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh... I've lost Discord. There we go. <laughs> Only I can manage that. Uh, do I roll one or two hunger dice now? Or... Well, I presume I roll. No, you, 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 no, you only roll one hunger dice alongside your. Awesome. When you yeah, so when your hunger gets full, you go into a frenzy like this, dude. Yeah. That's uh, that's free um, sucks. That's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> but... Pretty underwhelming. And I add increase my damage by three. Yeah. Um. You basically add that to the damage value. Um, so, basically, he's... So, what are you going to do, Santa? Because we need to get everyone's... Yes. Um, so, Jax is going from the front punching, right? Mm-hmm. Um... Wolf, his hands now more like talons than anything else, is going to go around the side. Um, if any, what animalistic features does this game girl have if he's in a frenzy? He almost looks a bit bat-like rather than in in terms of like his facial features have kind of got that sort of like bat nose and kind of his ears is kind oh. of elongated. Brother, you're gonna be looking like a Nosferatu for the next twenty four hours. Not a good look. Uh and we are going to when he's uh being punched by Jax. We're good try to dig the claws into um, his shoulder. So mm-hmm. like where the shoulder meets uh, the neck um, in an attempt to sort of rip at the joint. Okay. So I'll say your dice pool then is strength plus melee. Hmm. So, what's your dice no, pool total? To give, uh, just to give a thing, because I'm using um, feral weapons as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so, strength is going to be four plus, you said melee? Mm-hmm. Could I argue brawl? You can, Since, yeah. Uh, melee is more so using, like, a cane or... Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's fair. Where you can use brawl. Alrighty. Uh, so that is going to be f- that's going to be eight dice. Uh, it's five plus three. Um, cool. And then I've got a plus two modifier to the damage uh, because of my elongated claws. Uh, slash v five. Hold up. Slash v roll. Um. Eight. 
hold on. There we go. Uh, slash we roll eight. Hunger one. It's going to be five okay. success. Yep. And now for his lot. So he is going to activate. He is going to activate resilience as he sees you both coming in. Um, he's not choosing to move away, he is choosing to essentially try to grapple Jack's back. Um, and his dice pool is... I... So he will roll against both of you. Well, he's rolling against Jax more than you, Santa. Um, because he's trying to grab Jax as Jax is coming in at him. Four successes. Um... So, sorry, I'm having to keep referencing the book a little bit. Bastard. How dare you. Because <laughs> this is the first time running. How dare you conflict. use a book for, for the system so, that it was created for. Evil. And because it's, it's making the attack, it's a uh, conflicting roll, which means uh, it rolled... You can either do it against the initial attack roll the Jacks made, or you can make him roll a defense roll. He's rolling against Jax, because he's not trying to defend, he's just trying to attack him back, essentially. Okay. Um, so, in, in that case, ja you can have Jax roll a defensive roll if you'd like. Um, to, uh, ask him what he can do. Unless there's something specific in the book. That's what I'm looking at. Because it doesn't say... It says that when you're doing defense, you usually need to kind of allot some of your dice pool to that. Mm -hmm. um, in, in fairness, Jax did say he was not taking any me measures to dodge. So Yeah. Um, so it'd just kind of be a straight contested roll between the two of them, which mm. he beat Jax by one. Um, doesn't mean he doesn't take any damage, it just means that, like, yeah, Jax may also take some damage. Mm -hmm. In fairness, he's also got me attacking him as well, so he's taking damage from me because he didn't defend against me. <laughs> yeah, he didn't defend against you. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I've only just noticed what the fuck, Rebecca. What? <laughs> you don't see the icon in the user PC. That's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, well, Zane's ugly, and I thought, what's another ugly person I've just seen? That's fantastic. Oh, sorry, it is. Sorry, I'm just trying to work out the damage that'll be done. <laughs> I believe if they're not using weapons, it's the remainder. It's, it's the remainder. Yeah, so it'd be one. One from you plus whatever extra damage you're doing from your mm. lethal. Your your uh sorry, your claws. Um keep in mind um any damage because uh 
is the game girl using lethal body because it's there in chat? No, no, he's using um, he's using resilience, not lethal body. I clicked that when I was showing Jack okay. how to post. So I was gonna say if he's using lethal, if he's using lethal, the damage is aggravated. Um, yeah, that's what they're using resilience. Uh, but no, even with uh, lethal body, it says it only does um, aggravated against more mortals. You can flick a lot. Yeah, you're right. You're so, right. Yeah. Um, um, and then. Jax would take one from him because Jack is also using prowess. Um he adds three to his normal damage. He also did not succeed on the ch check. Mm. I'm going to say for this, Jax didn't manage to do any damage. Because he didn't get any Fair. over the gangrel. Because it was a contested one. Whereas yours wasn't contested, he wasn't trying to defend against, wasn't trying to push you back or attack you back, so. But with Jax it was contested. Um. So that's the first round done, essentially. Combat! As we learn, as we learn the system, it'll go faster. It gets easier as we uh, get into our heads. It's very different from D&D. Yeah, I've I've not run combat in this before. I've been reading up on it, trying to break it out. You've only done it once before, and that was with the monstrosity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even then, yeah. I didn't really know what was going on. Uh, yep. <laughs> no, that's that's fair. It gets easier with practice. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so Jax takes one, and. He doesn't manage to do any damage. Um, it is at this point that Lillian, Kaz, and Zane arrive. Um, you would be able to go through the door and see Jax and Baxter caught in combat with this horrendous looking gangrel. <laughs> Wolf with just claws inside of the gangrel's back, just looking over. Ah, bonsoir, mon ami! He's a little bit of assistance. Uh, Jax and the gangrel are just grappling on the other end. And here I thought they were just going to talk. This is their way of talking. Talk. Well, this is Jax's way of talking. You should know that by now. Fair point. I assume that's not the person that you guys came down here for? Who's well, just gonna look at Jax? They have such little respect for the physical language. No, this isn't the fucking person. But they're in the way. Ah. Um, we'll just give it a sec because I don't think Jack is back just yet. Yeah, I'm back. Oh, you're back. Okay, that's fine then. Um... Did you hear the results of nope. the round of combat? Okay. So he managed to do a damage to you. I've already checked it on your sheet. Yep. Um, but you didn't manage to do any in return because he beat you on the contested check. Okay. Um, but now we're 
essentially back to the top because there isn't really a turn order. It's just things happen in the order it would make sense that they would happen. Um, so, because it's, it's combat in this is very much role play as well as your dice pool. Yeah, so there's... you can just kind of take turns naming what happens and then what happens. Although it does state melee attacks do happen before ranged. Yes, it does. Um, yeah, that is something to note, though. Yeah. So, Jack, you are grappled with him. Because um, he's also kind of grappled back onto you. Um... And Baxter's in with the claws in the in the shoulder. Um, so we'll start with Jackson Baxter just deciding what they're going to do. So Jax, you go first. What are you going to do now that you're grappled with him? Hmm. Probably just gonna bail throw him. You know what? I'm going to pick him up and throw him. <laughs> oh. Okay. Very bruha of you. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um. I can't hear that name anymore without just hearing like it pronounced like a bloody motorbike starting up. <laughs> Guess it just be. I'd say strength plus athletics for this. I'm cutting out. Can you hear me? Hello? Can hear Hello? You. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Hello? Can anybody hear me? Okay, yes, good. Hi. Good. Santa, what was your concern? Oh, no. You said I, I was cutting out. I couldn't hear Dion for some reason. Ah. Is that your strength plus athletics? Indeed. Um. So, then... Your dice pool six. Um, Send this character immediately vanishes and reappears. <laughs> uh, there's something else I can I sh probably should explain as well in that when you're doing anything like dodging or defending, you have to allocate some of your dice pool to that. Um. If you're just straight attacking and you're not doing anything else, you put all your dice ball into that. But if you're trying oh. to dodge or defend, you need to allocate some of the dice ball to that those actions. Um, I just thought I should explain that before we get too <laughs> further in. Essentially, um, if you think your character's going to defend, say they're going to defend. Yeah. Um, so, Wolf. What are you doing? If Jax is throwing uh, my Freud, then I mm, well I hate to let a good back go unscratched. And so, with the claws on his shoulders, we're just going downwards as Jack picks him, picks him up. So, another strength plus brawl. Yes. And until he hits back, we're not defending. It's a... Uh, well, it's a game rule. 
Who needs to defend? Um, strength plus brawl, yes? Mm-hmm. Do, do, do. That's an eight. Eight. With hunger, one. There's going to be three success, and then I'm still using Feral Weapon, so that's a plus two to the attack. So the damage, yes. Yes, um, sorry. That's fine. Um, next up... So I'm going to go through the player character actions before we go to um, him. So let's start with Zane. What are you going to do? Um, I am going to kind of like go up towards the three, and then um, is he up in the air at this point when I get uh, over there? Like, what not we... quite yet. This is kind of like all happening at once. So Jax is going to lift him, but like, as um, I'm like going over, it's gonna be starting to lift, kind of thing. Yeah, it's like it's all happening at the same time. He's, at he's least the melee his, stuff. Yeah, he's gonna get his knife out and just, like, try to get a stab in there whilst he's being picked up. So, are you moving to, like, here, here, yeah, behind I'm him, just gonna, there? Probably just gonna go in a straight line and then just, like, try and go for, like, a slash on him as he's being okay. picked up. So, you can do me a... I'd say strength plus melee. There we go. Yeah. Next up, Lillian. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Well, I suppose it would be quicker to go ahead and finish him, wouldn't it? Uh, can I see that they're technically picking him up and tossing him? It depends, um, because this is all happening at the same time. And we don't know whether Jax is going to be able to pick him up and toss him yet. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. I guess I will just come up and stab the shit out of him. Okay. So I'd want another strength I'd want a strength plus melee off you as well. Cool. Alright, so that's slash you're wrong. Critical. Hmm? Oh, it's in the other chat. Yes. I rolled in the wrong chat. I'm sorry. Bolsy chat. No, it's fine. <laughs> so you got a critical. Um it's a Messy critical, though. Ugh. Well, I think. It's not a full critical. Uh, where is it? It's, it's in voice, voice chat. chat. I was a silly billy and I put it in a wrong So, it is, it is a messy critical. Okay. Um, however, you, the DM, have the right to uh, basically say that there's nothing messy that can happen here with Lily. Like, it's... Yeah, uh, th there isn't really anything that can mm. mess, because he's a bit... He's being grappled by Jack, so he's not just going to swing around and smack at Lillian. Cause, well, because he didn't really know she was there. Yeah. So I'll just call it a normal crit. There's nothing really messy that can happen. In mm -hmm. 
Okay. In this situation. Um, Kaz, what are you doing? Uh, let's... Can I tell what angle or direction it looks like Jax is going to eat this guy if Jax manages to eat this guy? You don't know if he can yet. This is the problem because everything's happening all at the same time. It is messy that what's happening. Like everyone's running in, stabbing, and Jax is grappling with him. It looks like he's trying to lift him, but you're not sure if it's going to work yet. I mean, it's Jax. I've got every faith that it's going to work. So, my question is is there such a thing as a hold action? Uh, no. Because you'll basically just be sacrificing your action this turn. Because th that's. Because there's not much I can Not do. really. There's not much I you can, can do in this situation do, until you You can do a tentative action, which is say, wait to see what happens, and then this is what your character does. However, by doing that, if what you say you're waiting to happen doesn't happen, you don't do anything. I'm still fine with yeah. that. Yeah. So essentially, but if Jax does manage to yeet this guy, Kaz is going to treat him like some kind of clay pigeon and just shoot him while he's in the air. Okay. <laughs> um, still roll your dice pull for me, which would be composure plus firearms. Just and then we have free and have it if it goes off, essentially. Firearms is two, so that is five. So slash V roll pull is five. Uh that's a critical. Got to roll hunger by the um. way. Okay, it's another... You did forget to roll hunger, but it's usually the last one, so we'll call it that. Just remember to do it next time, and do it in D&D &D chat. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. But also, that is still messy critical. Nothing messy can happen. Well, it could technically if you're shooting him, but that's only if he's tossed. Um, so we'll see what happens, because now it's his uh, turn. Well, his action. So, this guy does not wish to be tossed. And feeling you trying to lift him, he's going to attempt to, like, throw you to the side. To kind of get you off him. Um, so, he's going to do an athletics and strength contested with yours. Okay. And I state because Jax is throwing him at the same time that Wolf is slicing down his back because he let that attack go through originally that um, that affects him negatively somehow in this. It does it not does because have... he's in frenzy. Oh, yep, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, so all, negative, all negative things yep. that can come from damage are negated he's, when he's in frenzy. Because yeah. he's, he's more corpse than man at this point. He can't feel pain. Yeah. Yep. Um, so sadly, no. So let's see. So that's a pool of seven. Messy critical. I don't know why it shows up messy critical for some of it and then for some roles, and then it doesn't for others. Um, but so he he is going to beat Jax in this contested, and Jax is going to get tossed to the side. So, messy critical is only when it's a ten. Um, bestial fail is when the hunger die is a one. You can still succeed on a bestial fail with your other die. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
So that's why it hasn't been showing is because they've been they they haven't been getting messy criticals because bestial fails only activate if the original roll fails. Although their hunger die is one, it's not activating because it's technically a bestial fail, but it's not. So it's not a messy critical. So Jax, notice. you're getting tossed this way. He's just gonna like essentially just spin and toss you that way. Okay. Uh, you're still doing your damage, um, Santa. Okay. And that's with the plus two. That's with the plus two. I'll be down in a sec! Yep. Um, Lillian and Zane will also be doing theirs. Which... I need to find their damage. Because you two are using weapons. <laughs> that changes things a little bit. Because <laughs> they have damage ratings. Not bloodlines. Two. Okay, and Zane's is... yeah. Okay. So he's taking some damage. Not that he's really feeling it. Um... But, yeah, he's not down yet. <laughs> um, I just have to BRB a second just to grab my food, because Mum's it's just got here. Uh, so if you could just pause it for a sec, Lee. Hi. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. So. Okay. <clears throat> Your tentative action doesn't go off, Lee, because yep, Jax was the one who got tossed. Which means... Unless Gaz shoots Jax. <laughs> Just like instinct, like, oh, something moved, bang! Well, that's why I specifically worded it for when it gets yeeted in the air by Jax. Not when, when <laughs> someone gets yeeted in the air. When it comes to these kind of things with combat like this, it's like making a wish on a genie. You've got to do precise wording. <laughs> <laughs> so. Mm. We're technically back to the top. Yes. So, Jax, you just got tossed. What are you gonna do now? Hmm. Uh, let's... I think, honestly, i uh, just come back in with a clothesline. Okay, so... Fucking slam them. Strength plus brawl. Alright. Uh, 
on. I am consistently getting free, I understand. <laughs> the dice ball doesn't like you much right now, does it? Consistent, I suppose. Why are you only rolling with seven? Oh no, you're not trying to grapple, so I guess you didn't grapple doesn't count for this. Um Baxter. Yes. What are you doing? Your attacks are hurting him, but he doesn't seem to be reacting to the pain. First Restrain, do not kill. Torpor at most. Um, then, against the tenants, um, so Jax was thrown. Mm hmm. So it's Zane and Baxter with the Pharaoh, right? Mm hmm. Oh, and uh, I'm Lillian. Yep. Um,. We're going to um so there are things that I can do, but can I do them with others in the air? Um Not much Baxter can do in the form of mental manipulations. Um, so this is purely a physical fight for Baxter, mm -hmm. which is fine. So he is, once again, um, his claws are no longer in the back as he slit the, the back down. Um, yeah. Baxter is going to go... Like the dog he is, he is going to go for the ankles, uh, primarily the Achilles, with his attacks. Mm -hmm. um, if it's feral, it means it's not uh, extending willpower, which means it is not healing itself. No, it's not. It could um, so, yeah, Baxter will... Uh, Go ahead and do that. I'm assuming you want a strength and brawl? Yeah. All right. It's going to be a pool of eight. Hunger one. It's going to be seven successes, and then the plus two damage from the feral weapons is also a critical success. Yep. That's a uh, kind of lady. Um, Zane. Yes. What you doing? Um, I will. Baxter has shouted out, "Refrain from killing him in, in like fully." Okay, so don't kill him fully. Um, does does he look like he's gonna die anytime soon? If I go for a stab. He looks pretty so, beat yeah. up, but like he is just raging on it. It's like he doesn't even feel anything that's happening to him. So, as a kindred, you would know that unless we cut off his head, rip out his heart, or burn him alive, he'll just enter torpor, which is kind of death, but it's not permanent death. He'll come back. Oh yeah, we're starving then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the difference between nearly dead and all dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He'll just become a corpse, but he'll come back when he's got enough blood. That's fine, then. So, same as last time. Um, strength plus melee. Yeah. 
Yeah, three successes. Uh, Lillian. Your turn. So we're detaining. I know, it sounded wrong coming from my mouth too. It does make it a little bit more annoying. Does he need all his limbs? <laughs> nope! Alright. Chip's I... better in a box that way. I am going for one of the arms, my dear. Okay, are you going specifically to, like, sever? Uh, yes, that would be nice. <laughs> if I can't um, sever, it's fine. Strength plus melee and determine, depending on how many successes you get, we'll see. Strength plus melee. Using a discipline on it? Am I using a discipline? Do I have a discipline that you, does this? You are. You did not state you were using a discipline. I will caution oh. you to look at your disciplines. Because um, mm -hmm. you are a Tazim, especially the protein line. Hint, hint. <laughs> are you suggesting that I use Vistitude with it? Uh, you can't use Vistitude in this situation. Well, are you using a weapon? Oh, yeah, I have my cane sword. That's what I was... Okay, yeah, you, you're, she's and using her mind. sword. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, ignore me. I'm being cheeky. <laughs> uh, um, in the, in, try to remember if you're going to use disciplines to state uh, the, the four... You're kind of rushing into the fray. Um, you can do it on the go. It just kind of takes that time. That's all. For you to summon that strength up. Yeah, you don't manage to sever. Let's just put it that way. But it is a resounding thwack, no? It is a, it is a thwack, but you're not severing anything with two successes. Uh, <laughs> Kaz. <laughs> Uh, Kaz will move over to this direction to get a clear shot. Yep. Right. Torpor, but not kill. Got it. How about we stop it from moving around too much? She's going to try to shoot him in the kneecaps. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. So everyone's aiming to disable him now. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, how much was it before it was? It's composure plus firearms, which... Five, was it, last time? Five sounds about right. Uh, firearms is two, composure is three, yep, five. Remember to add your hunger this time. And hunger one. Mm-hmm. There we go. Five, ten, five, ten, five. Another That's critical. Yeah, another critical. Um <clears throat> so that's that. And now it is Gangrel's turn. He is going to try and take a big old swipe at you, Santa. Oh goody. He's been scratching his back. Like, he hasn't really been feeling it, but, like, you know. It's been annoying. I'd like to point out, although he can't feel it, his back is shredded. It is, but he can't feel that it's shredded and he can't oh, no. see his own back, so. Ooh, that's a five versus seven. Mm. Um. So. Defending though, so no, um, you didn't, and he's not defending either. No, he's not. Um, so both your damages go through, you're just kind of doing a big chunk at each other, essentially. Um, but based on the difference, too, you take three 
uh, damage, Santa? Yep. Um, it's not aggravated, so it's nope, just it's superficial. Superficial. Uh, and he will also take some. He's on aggravated damage now. Hmm. Um, well, because of uh, endurance, he failed. He pushed it off a bit because mm -hmm. he adds his uh, fortitude numbers to his health bar. Um, but yeah, so. Jax, you're he's not defending you either. He's not defending at all. He's just in a frenzy. He's just going at everything. Not even thinking about defense. So he takes a bit of that, that, and that. Um I'll say Santa, you do uh with your seven manage to like sever um the tendons in his ankle. Essentially making him go down on that one leg. Um, Lillian, you do do a good thwack on him, even if you don't manage to sever the arm. And Zane, you also manage to shank him a bit, and so do you. Um, Kaz, you do manage to blow out essentially the other kneecap, so he's on his knees now. And he's just snarling and growling up at you all. I almost felt bad for him. Looks like he still wants to fight, but like... Cry not for the rabbit dog. I will say, he's one damage away from just Thorper. So... Just so he's barely moving at this point, right? Yeah, he, he's barely moving. He's kind of still snarling and growling, but he, he can't he doesn't look like he can move very much. Jax, my boy, would you like to knock him the fuck out? Well the period is time to knock someone the fuck out. I'm not going to make you roll for this because you can't really avoid you or attack you back. Um, he's still snarling and growling as you kind of describe how you're going to knock him out for me. Pile driver. <laughs> still snarling and, dry and growling as Jax jumps into the air and. <laughs> Jax is the most bruja bruja of just <laughs> wrestling moves, baby. Like it's, I just <laughs> love it. I love this shit. So the gangrel has now stopped moving, and is more a corpse than kindred. That good fight. Alright. Uh, are the doors still there? Um. Yes, they fled. Uh, this way. To the north. Um. The doors are still here. So the door you came through, and then the northern door that they fled to. Baxter's checking his pocket watch. What time would it be? About 3 a.m. at this point. <sighs> Two more hours. Two more hours. Well, they ran. <sighs> and that fight lasted a little bit longer than I would have liked, so I'm assuming they got far enough that tracking them down would become a hassle. However, I'm also assuming their work's not done here. Besides, we got ourselves a little bit of a gift. He's gonna tap the one that's unconscious as he sits on them. Hmm. Oh, this is assuming that one knows anything, but yes. 
He better hope he does. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Also, this place reeks of death. We might as well get out of here before it attracts unwanted attention. Fair enough. I'm assuming by the morning it'll either be cleaned by Cameron forces or, well, the police will find it. Do we want to track them down or shall we call it a night? I'll take little Lucy here, he says, looking down at the game girl, uh, back to my place and you all can meet me there upon uh, tomorrow. Sounds fair enough to me. Are you all in, agree in agreement with that course of action? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> Very well. He's gonna step up. Listen for a bit. He's using heightened senses as he listens. Uh, he doesn't hear any whistling or anything, right? No. Okay, good. Um, he's going to pick up the body. Looks over at Lillian. You've got a bad servant, right? Your kind normally does. Out of character, were you talking to me? Yes. Yes. Well, yes, there's John. Wonderful. Can you have John uh, bring this to me when day hits? John's just standing behind you at this moment. Just got down the stairs and like came behind Wolf's in specific and was like. Disgusting. I love it. The only ones I love more are those of the Giovanni. Could you do that for me, John? Bring him by. Just kind of looks at Lillian. I suppose it should be gift wrapped and sent. Easy. Aye, aye, oh, that, would, that would be wonderful. You'd be surprised how many gifts I get wrapped like this. Uh, he's going to hand one of his uh, business cards to John. It's got the address of his place. With that, my fair, uh, my wonderful comrades, I've spent too long in your presences and the filth of life is starting to get on my nerves. I'll see you tomorrow. And with that, uh, he's going to uh, take his leave from this place. Um, and as he does... He is going to proceed to use, uh, where is it? Um, he's going to proceed to use shape change. And he is shape changing into a large black dog. Mm. To which he is going to roam the alleyways, uh, heading home for the night. Yep. What are the rest of you going to do? Retire to your own specific abodes or spend the night at the hotel? Go hunting with the last two hours of night that you have? Obviously, I have to gift wrap this uh, gang grill, so going back to my place seems like the smart idea. Mm hmm. Yeah, Jax reckons it's probably a bit late for his style of hunting. <laughs> uh, John will just throw the gangrel in the back of the carriage. Just a very special trunk for body carrying. Yeah, you've got like one of those trunks that attach to the back of the carriage. Just for <laughs> carrying things luggage and um, he just tosses it in there and then like closes it up locks it um so are you all heading back to the hotel obviously other than wolf 
what are you going to do with your last two hours of night before you'll have to start returning to your well returning to somewhere where you can rest because not everyone has a haven Um, Thane would probably do a little bit of stalking before he had to go back to the hotel, like he usually does on a night. Are you stalking anyone in specific? No, but if anyone comes across as, like, interest, probably then would target, but just, like, generally just, like, checking out what's going on. Mm -hmm. Um, Kaz. Are you doing anything with the last two hours of night? As your cotieri starts going their separate ways for the evening. Will you go back to the hotel with Lillian? Will you go hunting? The hotel? Yeah, Lillian's place. Is there any reason that we need to go back to the hotel? I mean, you can stay there. It's basically the havens. It's basically the home base Haven for the coterie. you. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the home base for your coterie. So your coterie is, as long as Lillian allows it, welcome to stay there. I mean, do we not just have our own normal place where we sleep? You can probably find places, but having a haven is an advantage. I've mentioned yeah. this before. So having a secure haven place to sleep is an advantage that you can take on character creation. You can get it as you level up as well. Um, you can find it's places to sleep. Welcome. Not not to say you can't own another place. It's just yeah. the haven advantage gives you um, security. So like yeah. hunters or other kindreds, there's things that would stop them. Uh, for yeah. instance, Wolf, uh, because his is a uh, undertaking business, uh, one of the advantages I took is he's got a surgery room for medical needs. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize but, that was a thing. Yeah, you can still find places to sleep. Like I think you mentioned how sometimes sleeps above the theater. Yeah. But like, yeah, we've, we've we've had this conversation before, and that was I think what you had stated was uh, that she slept above the theater. Yeah, because yeah. I'd, if I thought about it's, it, think your character creation, I would have given that. It's it's not a secure place to sleep though. No, but it's, it's just, a place you where know. she probably stash her stuff, so she'd probably go back there, grab mm -hmm. some stuff, and then make back to the hotel. Yeah. Um, She'll be by, meeting laying back by, at the hotel. And by stuff I mean, you know, vials. Yeah. Given the you can drink I old know blood. I yes. I'm an iron gullet. Um, so, Jax, what are you doing with the last two hours of night? Probably head back to the hotel, honestly. It's probably a bit late for his style of hunting. What type of predator are you? A beat the shit out of people hunter. Ah, uh, you're an alley cat. Alley cat. Which he does with a gang who's probably in bed like good boys at this point. Good little kitties. <laughs> um, your predator type at the top of your page. Uh, predator. Osiris. Yeah. You've got a herd and a bunch of fans. Yeah. Yep. Meanwhile, Lillian's just like, mm, yes, yeah, sleeping. Basically, you feed off your fans. Yeah, they give me they give me vows of the blood. I was like, give me your blood. Why? Because I'm your idol. I imagine you secretly these, uh... turn your fans into a blood cult. Charity donations. Yeah, no, I, Charity just, donations. I, I imagine it's a case of she did it to a couple of people and then word spread and now people just keep doing it without her having to tell them now. So she's just got a steady supply oh, of files that she just puts up. You're just known as the vampire. <laughs> That's such hunter bait. Oh my god, I love it. That's such it hunter is. bait. That's great. It's That's such great. hunter bait, but you could then also turn around and be like, <laughs> they won't suspect the one that would actually put themselves out there saying that they're the vampire. 
Oh no, they would. Like it's psychotic enough. It dep- It depends on the organization. If it's Church of Saint Leopold, they'll burn all of London. <laughs> yeah. I imagine it's also a case where she probably does that kind of thing like some bands actually do, where they take the blood of like the fans or the blood of their bandmates and put it into like an actual vinyl record kind of thing. With vinyl records, I think, in this time of age. No. No. Uh, well... You're looking at like gramophone sort of things. Yeah, so it's like uh, still not vinyl. Cylinders. Still cylinders, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, cylinders. Like cylinders. So she could mix it into that. And there it's going to be like, well, you've been getting blood donations. What are you putting it into my music? You can test it if you want. They won't ask. <laughs> if a hunter suspects you're a vampire, they're just going to kill you. Or at least attempt to kill you. Oh, well said. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> so it's cool. it's I'm the sorry. You're, you're, it's the world of darkness and you're saying it's fucked up. Yeah, it's fucked up, but it's supposed to be fucked up. Uh, hunters aren't necessarily the good guys. No. They're the best guys, but they're not the good guys. For every um, actual kindred killed, about several non-actual kindreds are also killed. Yeah. Oh, I'm making you Um. Yeah. Um, so... Oh, well, Caswell initially, huh? Oh no, go on, go on. Well, Caswell initially separate from Lillian and Jax. Uh, you three will eventually meet back up at the Queen's Hotel. Um, and while you three are getting ready to essentially enter slumber for the day while you're out stalking zane you see you well you don't see a familiar figure as as you're sneaking around an alleyway watching the street you feel a tap on your shoulder Rebecca? Sorry, my sister came in and was talking to me. It's alright. While you're stalking, mm-hmm. um, looking out onto a street, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Oh, great. I will slowly turn around to see who's tapping me on the shoulder. You turn around to see a very familiar pair of very large eyes on a narrow oh, face. I knew it was gonna be this person. I will like, be like, oh, you've seen me again. Yes, I was um, getting groceries and oh. I saw you down here. I thought I'd say hello. Oh, it's nice to see you again. Yes, yes, it is, my dear. Would you like to come back to mine for some tea? You know what? Sure. Of course, of course. You can see a neek again, too. It would be so delightful. Yeah. She'll just start walking away. (laughs) Down the street. (laughs) She was a bit happy. That's what he would think to himself, but be like, you know what? I have hope and faith in people. I don't. I'm going to get murdered. This is the end. I'm going to be killed by this creepy person. Just saying, like, having an internal struggle, but still following her. Yeah. Zane is like, why did I say yes? I'm I'm so socially open. This is why I stay invisible. <laughs> So you're led back to the familiar manor house. The familiar, yeah, like, uh, townhouse. Yeah. The familiar townhouse that you know belongs to Anique. Um, yes. And you're led inside by the very tall, strange-looking bug-eyed woman. Mm-hmm. Um, 
who you got the name of last time as being Mallory. Yes. Uh, and she leads you inside and kind of turns and like closes the door behind her and you. And then kind of pulls you over to a table and sits you down and is like, sit, sit. I'll get the tea. Lovely. I love tea. <laughs> um, as you're kind of like sat there waiting, you kind of hear like a shuffle from the other room as uh, a knee kind of walks out and like, it's kind of glares at you a little bit. Hi, like, I'm back. I see that. Why? Why I'm back? Yeah, well, you should ask your creepy friend. She invited me for some tea, so I said yes. I wouldn't call us friends. We're best friends! Oh, like, oh, no. <laughs> she looks about as done with this woman's antics as you feel. Uh, um, she kind of goes, All right, this has been too long of a night for this. And she's going to push Mallory out of the room. I'm going to go over to you. Don't follow her anywhere. I'm not gonna tell you why, just don't. Was I going to be murdered? Was I correct about my thoughts? Maybe not murdered, but she would have done something that I'm not gonna say because I don't want people looking at her is it something to do with the eyes it's something to do with those eyes what is going on there that's just that's just because of the kind of kindred she is like you've got your fucked up face like yeah, yeah but at least i don't have to see my face all the time but i have to look at those eyes yeah just don't follow her again I will learn from my lesson. She I seems very learn. friendly, but she's older than us and dangerous. Got it. I thought it was all good to too good to be true, especially with the way she looks. I shouldn't be saying that. Look at me. Look, I'm not saying she's not useful. If you come to visit here, that's fine. If she specifically asks you to follow her here, do not. Got it. I will not follow her next time. Though, as much as I hate people, knowing where I live, you already do now. If you're ever in need of information, she's probably one of the best sources you'll find in the city. Oh, good to know. That's the only reason that she's. I'm letting her stay with me right now. Well, that makes sense, because I thought there was going to have to be some use, because, well, from my brief interactions with her, um, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm getting at. Kind of looks up at the clock. It's getting late. You should go to wherever you sleep. I will have a good day, night, whatever, and don't die. Try that weird thing. Goodbye. Bye. Zane will leave. Mm -hmm. Where will Zane go now? Um, he will head to the hotel. It's a hotel, right? Yeah. Yeah, he'll head over to there. So, you three have been gathered at the hotel for a little bit. And, like, getting things ready for sleep. Finding your individual rooms. But I'm, I'm guessing that Lillian has set aside for the coterie. 
um, when pretty much like not long before bedtime, Zane rocks up. So Kaz, Lillian, and Zane are Kaz, Lillian, Zane, and Jax are all together at the hotel right now. If you want to interact at all before going to bed. Part of me is just imagining Zane walking in like, holy fuck, guys, I just got abducted. <laughs> yeah, Zane will come in kind of looking a bit, a bit freaked out and being like, oh my god, why do I keep doing this to myself? I'm not playing Curious the pronoun game with you. <laughs> didn't hear what you said then, Rana. Uh, no, I didn't. Get... Curiosity, Curiosity did heal the cat, of course. That is true, I'm way too nosy. So what entirely did we learn for this mission today? That there's a creepy little girl with some unknown entity out and about. Yeah, but is that anything that's part of this? Or is it just its own little thing we stumbled onto? Hard to tell. Though from the looks of it, they were using kindred parts as well. So, could be connected. Is that all you guys are saying? To our bed? I imagine Lillian is also literally wrapping up the uh, currently incapacitated kindred with the help of John. Yeah, <laughs> well, while you guys have been talking, she's just been wrapping the gangrel. Do you think this is too many ribbons? No, no, I think it looks good. When it, good. Comes, to, when it comes to trying to keep the sun out from it... You can't go overboard. Fair point. Though we don't have a box or a gift bag big enough. Mm. I don't think he'll mind, ma'am. So Fair I thought enough. that counts. <laughs> I think he's less caring about what he comes in and more that he just arrives there. For all he cares, you could probably throw him in a sack. True. But I did say I would gift wrap, and gift wrapping is a very important thing. Yeah. Bless you. And well, it'll be going in the trunk till we get there anyway, ma'am. True enough. I just wanted to make sure it didn't look garish. Not at all, madam. Marvellous. Well, I do believe that is it for now. I think I'll excuse myself for the night. Lillian I get, ghosts. I don't get why people still say that nowadays. I mean, I, I kind of special. Retiring for the night, truly, it's the night that we spent. We retire for the day. Good lord, even just before we go to bed, you are so cantankerous. I've not had my feed yet. She just uncorks one of the little vowels and just downs it. <laughs> so. Is that all? Do you all then retire? Yeah. Yes. You all go to your individual sleeping spots. 
your own rooms that Lillian has set aside on the top floor for the coterie. And fall into a dreamless, corpse-like sleep. During the day, a package is brought to... Um, a package is brought to Baxter's undertaking business. Um, and I'm assuming Baxter has prepared somewhere to just place him. Yes, yes. Um, it should also be noted that Baxter, uh, when he sleeps, he uses earth melt, so he s sinks into the earth, so he can't <laughs> really be found anywhere. Um, yeah. But there are people, not necessarily humans, but they look human enough that do work there, um, and they, there would be a space. They're allowed to live there. They don't serve them, they're just allowed to live there. John drops off your gangrel captive and heads back to the hotel to continue managing it for the rest of the daytime. Day passes. <clears throat> You all need to... It's a rouse check, isn't it, Phantom? Yes, everybody rolls a rouse. Yep, everyone roll a rouse check. Mm-hmm. Is it rouse one or just rouse flat? Uh, it's just it's rouse. slash v rouse. You don't have to type any number. Jack, your hunger goes up. Jax is a hungry boy. That's three hunger. Uh, he is probably very cranky. <laughs> and Lee, your hunger goes up. Yep. But unlike Jax, that mine's easy. My hunger goes up, yeah. I just pop a vial. Are you keeping track of how many of those you have? It's hard to tell. Because you can't just have essentially an infinite supply of blood. You will yeah, yeah, you'll eventually have to meet with your herd. Yeah, that was when I was leveling up next so I could take that as my safe haven. No, that's not the same thing. Havens are a separate thing, like your house. Yeah, but that you'll still need to find, what, what have, meet up with your herd at some point to... Yeah, what I'm saying is, since that is my safe haven where my music call, I'll be spending more time there therefore spending more time with the herd. <clears throat> yeah, but what I mean is in the meantime you can't just have an infinite source of blood. No, but we also <laughs> never agreed on how many I started with. We no, can because... come up with that after the session. <laughs> yeah. Um, so two people's hunger increased, and then <laughs> apologies. You all come come around, wake up as the night begins. Um, Wolf, you wake up to find the gangrel has been delivered. Um, there is also, uh, news bulletin, which I will just read out this time because I've apparently lost the file. Oh. Um, I was going to put it up on Roll20, and I will once I've found it, but I can't find it right now. Um... But Lillian, you'd see it as, like, John brings you the news, city newspaper, uh, while you're getting ready. And anyone else who would have an interest in the newspaper would probably also see it. Um, 
We'll probably read it while he's prepping dinner. And the main headline that you'd see is Burke and her back again. Almost 30 years after the last emergence of a Burke and Hare copycat. Now again, we have missing women and empty graves springing up all over Manchester in the wider area, as well as in the city street. Uh, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, that's the main headline you see. A kind of secondary one is New Professor of Science at Manchester University claims that in there needs to be a new age of transportation throughout the city. And that we should pursue other means of power, not just steam or coal. Um, <coughs> there is another one that's more like a list of missing people. Are any of those people happen to be, uh, because it's, I, I, I mentioned, uh, because they said grave robbing. Are any of them the ones that Wolf has fed on? Uh, well, not the, the the grave robbing ones aren't listed here because they're okay. grave robbing. These ones are just like missing people who they haven't determined whether they're dead or not yet. Oh. Just people who have disappeared. So no one that you recognize. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> They'll probably end up on my tables at some point. Um, but those are the headlines that you see for the day. Most of you are gathered at the hotel as you awaken. Um, but Wolf did invite you to visit his undertaking business the next day to see what to do with the gangrel. True. <clears throat> so is that where you all wish to head this evening? We are, are any of you needing to feed before we go? Or... I'm not really hungry. Same. I will have my opportunity eventually. <laughs> just as we're walking there, Jack's just back, back slap, like back of the hand slap someone as a passing by. Just give me a second. I just need to check something. Stomach just rumbling. Not like quite there. Feels, but I most certainly do need to return to my way sooner rather than later. It's currently around He's got ten thirty in He's got at night. He's got rumblies that all his hands can say to you. <laughs> no, that's false. No, Wolf is eating Wolf the eats. hands. <laughs> Jax is throwing hands I mean. and, and feeding Growing hands. <laughs> if we're all fine, then we may as well make our way over. The night is young and. We are eternal. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> was there, he bitch slapped that confident so fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's technically not wrong. They are pretty much young eternal. Vampires don't age. Uh... Immortal until proven otherwise. I love it. I love it. Um, as you all get ready and set off towards Wolf's... Wolf! As you're preparing your dinner, um, there is a knock at your door. 
It should be stated, uh, Wolf's Haven is warded. Does the knock mm-hmm. come from something of supernatural origins? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Wolf will um, come to the door. You will open it. Oh, God. I just realized Wolf could technically do the uh, Hannibal Lecter thing from Silence of the Lambs at the end. Just, <laughs> I'm having an old friend for dinner. <laughs> um, you see a kindred at your door. Mm-hmm. A young woman with dark hair and tan skin um, kind of looks back at you. And is like, kind of looks you up and down a bit. It's like, so you're the one hanging out with the coterie now. Should be stated, Wolf, because he is in his place of business, looks neater and cleaner. His hair mm-hmm. is tied back um, and combed. Uh, his teeth are still sharp, but his beard is better well kept. Um, he does not have his coat on. Instead, he has what, on what appears to be a gardening apron as mm-hmm. he kind of looks down, glasses uh, in hand. Why, yes. It's kind of like... He looks... Holds out a hand. My name's Unique. It's nice to meet you. He looks at her hand. He doesn't shake it, but he, he looks at her. I've heard so much about you. Come on in! She does step inside. He allows her through the ward. As he brings her in. A fancy a meal, I'm prepping dinner. Not that hungry. But thank you for the offer. Of course, of course. So tell me. I've heard you're not originally from this area. You've traveled a bit. I've been here once before, but that was ages ago. So no, not originally from this area. Also, you're kinder, usually rather good at tracking. Oh, yes. Well, depends on what we're tracking. Some, thing are, some things are far better at it than others. She reaches into um, the kind of breast pocket of her shirt and pulls out a small, um, like, photograph with a like lock of hair attached to it um and kind of holds it out to you i'm looking for this person does the person look familiar to wolf at all what was that santa does the person look familiar to Wolf at all? Uh, we're going to do a roll for this. Not particularly yeah. difficult one, but... Hold on. Roll to he's being wounded. There we go. If you could roll me... An intelligent. Mm-hmm. Plus anything? We'll say plus investigation. Intelligence plus investigation. Alrighty, that's just two die. That's two successes. Two successes. She looks familiar. Mm-hmm. Um, she's someone you've not met, like up close and personal, but you've seen her on occasion. Um, Is she yes, specifically Tremere. <clears throat> Uh, 
Anything yes. about this individual as he looks at them? Any uh, and and he's looking at Anik now. Any marks or sigils that he can see that might point her to being a member of a sect or of a specific sect or clan? Um, you could make me a wits plus awareness if you want. Of course. It'll be one plus one, so again two. That's one success. You don't see any distinctive markings or things that point to a specific clan. She doesn't seem to wear anything that would indicate a specific clan either. But while you can't identify a specific clan to her, the way she holds herself is not quite like most clans that you've seen around lately. Hmm. Hiding or taken? Her? Yes. The She's picture. hiding. She's Tremere. Yeah. Camarilla? Yes. Oh. And you bringing this here to me, I'm assuming you would like my assistance in finding them. If you can. I got I a report that she I got a report that she's been around the north lately, so <sighs> I'm putting out feelers. Does Wolf know if there's a uh, Tremere archive anywhere in Manchester um, or anywhere within the nearby cities, especially the Camarillan areas? Um, there's not one in Manchester. Mm. Uh, there would be one um, yeah, in, London. in London, but also in Edinburgh, mm. up towards Scotland. Uh, in Scotland. There isn't a particular one in the north of England at the moment, but there is one in Edinburgh. I'm assuming you understand this is not for free. I understand that. Wonderful. One last okay. question. Mm. Business or pleasure? Mm. I wouldn't call anything to do with her pleasure. It's a business. In a sense. If you're asking, oh. it is a job. But I have some stake in it. Of course, of course. Mm, delicious Those are tonight. the best ones. Uh, yes, you can. I'm making some. <laughs> Why, yes. On that. He's going to take the picture in the lock of hair. I'll see what I can do. I've got little friends in low places. They may know a couple things. But Jimmy are very good at hiding, though. I know. I've been looking for her for a while. Mm. Even when I was running with that coterie that you're now with. Delightful people they are. Mm -hmm. One of the found their way to my haven the other night again. Oh yes. He's a little too curious for his own good. Of course he's an Osterat too. It's what they do. Yeah, hopefully it won't get him burned. Anyway, 
I should go. Yes. I'll see what I can do about it. Um... Zane knows where to find me if you need me. Oh, of course. Not that many can stay hidden. My little friends are very good at looking. Mm -hmm. well, it was a pleasure to meet you. Oh, of course. The pleasure was all mine. Hopefully we meet um, on pleasure instead of business at some point. Yeah. And she'll kind sure of go to want to bite? Not my kind of prey. <laughs> of course not. She does look hungry, but she's it does not the type of predator that she is. Mm -hmm. So she she'll leave, leave. As she leaves, the door will close itself. She's no longer on the ward's whitelist until he deems otherwise. Mm -hmm. And he will go, sit at his table with a little plate and a little liver. Not a little liver, pretty big liver cut in slices. And he will, with fork and knife, start eating it as he waits for the coterie. J Jax will leave food if offered. <laughs> Can't tell if it was ironic or not. <laughs> It's not the kind of food that you can eat. <laughs> yes, I can. You can eat it, it just won't give you anything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It'll just be sheer displeasure the Wolf is way. a very, very special kind of abomination. He's an organ vor. He can eat flesh, primarily organs. Uh, he's not a flesh eater, those are an actual clan. Um, but he can't just sustain himself off plant, so he has to eat from dead people. Ah, I see. It's not actually steak. Mm -hmm. I'm disappointed. Uh, no, he could make theoretically steak, but he wouldn't gain any sustenance. He'd be able to eat it, just wouldn't gain any sustenance. Yeah. But it's a little while later when the coterie show up. I can't believe we seem to have almost acquired us. Can't get the accent down tonight, apparently. Can't believe that, uh... Feels like we've only just started allowing ourselves to sit upon our deeds that we seem to have found ourselves already in another task. Not that I'm complaining too much, but I do need some time to myself every now and again, if you understand my drift. Personal time is important. I mean, I concern you myself with how thin my flesh gets once I start getting a little too hungry. You could, you can, you can go hunt. Like you know, you could have hunted during the two hours last night. It was just like you could have found someone in an alley to fight or something. There would have been drunks around, or that's fine. <laughs> Jax has a cold, an irritating cold, but one nonetheless. You can go and hunt, like... It's fine. Uh, okay. So, you guys arrive and you're gonna knock at Wolf's door? <laughs> Who's knocking? Sure, why not? <laughs> may not even need to knock. Wolf might have corpse out there keeping watch for them. Okay. So, corpse would tell you that the coterie's arrived. Uh, Wolf will go to the door. It should be said, there is a massive sign, like those big old uh, sort of business signs at the front of his place, which is Dates. Wolf and Flowers home for the decrepit and decayed. Mm -hmm. um, he will open the door to greet the coterie. Just as Lillian's about to go knock, he just opened the door. Why, hello, bonsoir, mon ami. Ah, uh, hello. Brings him. Into, <laughs> into, at your own peril. <laughs> He'll lead the way. So Zane. much more needed. 
Just saying, just having flashbacks to last night. Actually, despite Wolf's demeanor, um, everything is very neatly set up. This opening space is more like a house than it is an actual business. Mm -hmm. um, it's very neat, uh, very Victorian-esque, lovely wallpaper. There are pictures on the walls of people loving families that none of them have wolf in them. They're just pictures of people. Um, essentially stock photos. Uh, there's a dining room with an empty plate. Um, and Wolf will look at all of you. None of you are squeamish, are you? Jax simply blinks. I have to ask. Jax realizes you will not continuously answer the girls. Ah, no. <laughs> Zane, by the way, invisible or visible? He will be visible. Good. To the surgery room, then. And, uh, Wolf will lead the way to the surgery room, mm -hmm. where he will, through grated doors, open up. There'll be two tables. One will have uh, the wrapped um, gangrel. The other one will have a random corpse on it. Yeah. Wolf will look over at Lillian. Yours, he says, pointing over to the corpse. A gift for a gift. Oh. Lovely. I've had that one for a little bit. It doesn't have any organs. But it's got bones and sinews. Do with it as you desire. Should just be. Lillian will just have Jack <laughs> take the body. John. John. You mean John? Sorry, I don't know why I said Jack. Just Maybe look at Jack's. <laughs> just, like, just, oh, look I guess at Jack's <laughs> just look at Jack's. Carry that to my carriage for me. It just looks suspiciously like Jack's. <laughs> Wolf. Jax looks oh, closer to one of his gang. Like <laughs> Kaz will just be inspecting the room and that lot, just looking at all the uh, tools and such like. Not the kind of instruments I'm used to, I'll admit. Mm, Congratulations. I believe that was a maybe a three minute like record on amount of time before you had to mention that you're a musician. I haven't mentioned it since we woke up. You will notice, by the way, there's a gramophone playing, but it's just playing silence. Like the th like the uh, little cylinder is playing, it's going, but there's no sound coming out of the gramophone. Mm -hmm. uh, because Wolf's Place has one major negative, which is it's creepy as fuck. So as we enter the surgery room, unlike the, unlike the entryway of the house, the surgery room is much more wolf style. It looks less like a mortician's room and more like a butcher pen. Um, as wolf kind of walks up. So, I'm assuming you all talked about that which we learned the other night. I suppose, to an extent. Yes. We learned that the Camarilla are trying to invade Manchester, and they're trying to create little um, atrocities, abominations, through hybridization and science. Pseudoscience, I should state. Yeah. Walk around with the gangrel, and he's going to... Uh... The gangrel has been unwrapped at this point, as he mm -hmm. stands above the gangrel. Our friend here is a victim. Or an experiment. Who wants to place bets? Well, first things first, I was sure that they're fully secured out. 
you will see uh, they have no arms. Uh, with bone saw in hand, he had taken their arms and he looks at Kaz. It's killed. Oh yes. Right. He's going to grab he's going to grab the arms off a table. He's gonna put them in a box. There we go. Removing the arms doesn't exactly say that the fully secure. Take the leg as well, just to be sure. Oh no, I like it when they run. And Wolf is going to go over to a counter. Now, do you all have questions? We should probably each have a singular question. No. Very mm. well. Uh, Wolf is going to grab a vial of Vitae in hand. Seems like uh, they were having a conversation the with themselves for a second, though. It did seem that way, didn't it? What's going on? Mm, nothing. I think the one-sided conversation got a little bit the best of us. What about a one-sided conversation? Well, you're imagining that we should all have a question. They said no, looked blankly in the direction. And they said, all right, then. Hmm. Skyrim and PC and yeah. conversation. <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> Absolutely. But do we all have questions? Does anyone have a question about the situation before he wakes up the gangrel? I have no convers I have no, no questions to utter to you, but this man I am sure we all have an excellent round of reasoning to bargain with him. Indeed. Exactly. Oh, some ground rules, by the way. I'm not the only one that lives here. So don't touch anything. Second off, I should have said this at the doorway. Second off, the moment you leave, you will not be welcome back without an invitation. Uh, third off, anybody want a snack? <sighs> Chuck sort of looks at you and goes, I don't think... Uh... I don't think it'd really work for me. <laughs> I don't think it'd really work for most of us. Shame. Uh, and Wolf is <laughs> with a, he's going to reach over to a jar. Uh, he's gonna pluck out an eye, and he's gonna bite on it as he chews. So, Jax, open his mouth. Jax will open his mouth. Making sure to leave no fingies uh, inside. Wolf is going to pop the cork off the vial. He's going to pour the Vitae. He may not wake up instantly. It's going to take a while for him to heal, but it's enough to jumpstart his system. As <laughs> Wolf is slamming down on it. We're in a very much, I know what's wrong with it. It ain't got no gas in it moment. Yeah. <laughs> So you're you're right in that he doesn't wake up right away. Mm -hmm. Um it will take roughly a couple hours for him to waken mm. in any sort of state. As you in did that. fuck him up quite bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. In that you're all free to roam. Some of you need to hunt. Take this time to hunt while we wait for him to wake up. Zane! You and me need to have a conversation. A conversation? Okay, sure. Of course. You're not hungry, are you? No, no, I'm actually not hungry, surprisingly. Wonderful. While the others feast upon the little domain that I have. You and me will keep watch of the body while I converse with you. Sounds good. Imagine Wolf oh, just yes. kicks everyone else out of the surgery room. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, flipping a sign, Doctor is in and closing the door as he pushes everybody out of the surgery room um, as he's going to sit there across the table with Zane. He's going to look at Zane 
his sickly yellow eyes, smiling, this wide smile, the sharp teeth um, being shown, not just like the vampire teeth, but all his teeth being rigid and sharp. But he just looks there, head in hands. How's your day going? My day going? Well, your night. You know what I mean. It's going okay. Why are you asking this? How old are you, Zane? Zane looks off into the distance as I look at my character sheet. <laughs> I'm ten. Remember to carry the two. Whatever that means, tenth generation. What's the age? Uh, that's your bl that's your bloodline generation. Oh, uh, tenth oh generation wait, is exactly I've got right. my true age of forty five. Yep, yeah, I should have looked on the reverse. Forty five. At what age were you turned? Embraced. I can't even remember. I've got to be honest with you. Oh. So young. So, so young. And so curious. Such a curious little cat, aren't you? Tell me about your friend in nature. My, well, my kind of friends were not particularly too close. It's just that I keep ending up at a house. Um, what were you going to say, Santa? Oh no, I was just repeating. At her house. Oh. Well, yeah, that's yeah. I keep just while well, I was stalking, and I kind of came across it, and then I just saw those eyes. I've told you about that, haven't I? The eyes that I saw. Oh, no. Not for me. I thought you said you couldn't say. Well. But what is this about eyes? Eyes. Yeah, some freaky eyes. And then that's why I stopped and I went, wait. I'm probably going to be murdered. You're... Dear friend, associate, who is doomed to eventually kill and slaughter you, has come to me with a job proposition. Oh? Just thought you'd like to know. Well, tell me then. Oh, I'm not going to tell you the job proposition. I just wanted to let you know that I'm in contact with a dear friend. Therefore, we are mutual friends. Getting closer. So close. Which is to say, you pull the same curiosity shit and follow me home, I will kill you where you stand. Never follow me in the dark unless I know you're there. I will not. I will let you know. Wonderful, and I will do the same for you. Oh, perfect. I feel like we're becoming such great friends already. Yes, I'm, I'm feeling a bit of a connection here with this mutual, consensual stalking that we've got going on now. Exactly. The only difference is you turn invisible, I turn into a big-ass dog. Yes. I mean, that's oh, yes. really cool. Oh, thank you. I've been doing it for a long time. It's been a while since I've been in East Anglia. <laughs> Oh, that's not me, though. That's another fella. Garu. Ugh. You ever met a Garu? I... Would I? No. You've seen a dead one. You've never met one. Okay. No, I'll just say, seen one dead, not alive. Delicious. Anyways. 
I think this conversation. You have any questions for me? I feel like this has been rather one-sided, me forcing you. Ask away if you do. Well, I don't really have much except for that uh, job you've got, but it seems like you. I'm not going to get any information oh. from you from that. No, no, I don't kiss and tell when it comes to job offers. That's fair. I've got to respect it. No, oh, yes. Tell me about your other Coterie members, though. Do you like them? What, the other people? Well, yeah, I think they're all as decent people as you can be, being us. Decent people as you can be. Ooh, if the Canaanites could hear you. What do you think about them? They're kindred. They're delightful. They're useful. But you can only trust them about as far as you can throw them. And in the case of Jax, a man so big, I'm not sure I could throw him so far. That's fair. They are very useful. I mean, we're quite efficient altogether, I would say. <laughs> oh, it's that youngster arrogance. I love it. Quite efficient. Isn't that right? He says, looking down at the corpses, he as he's tapping onto the probably still unconscious uh, Kindred. Very efficient. Oh, I just realized something. Well, hmm. I may need to edit some of this video out. Why? What happened? I zoned out, forgot that we were in a session, and opened up another tab just to look up stuff for Baldur's Gate 3 plot lines. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You could blur know. it, but I think I'd make it look worse. Yeah, I think I could just like put yeah, it on the like you, screen. Yeah, you're thingy. like watching you something can... dodgy whilst doing D and D. Like, oh yeah, it's not my turn to speak. Let me do something. Oh. <laughs> you just put like the block out window saying Baldur's Gate spoilers. Yeah, I just pulled up <laughs> yeah. the thumbnail for Baldur's Gate Three. <laughs> oh. Um. But yeah, you two are having this conversation. What are the rest of you doing during this time? It's going to take uh, two to three hours-ish for the gangrel to wake up. Finally, having been given basically nothing better to do, uh, You're gonna Jack's go off to go and play Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, way we're going to do this is just roll me a strength plus brawl. Strength plus brawl. Yeah. See if you can catch some prey. Would I be able to have my grappling expertise to this? Are you going to be grappling them or challenging them in a straight up fight? A straight up fight for me is grappling them. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're going for fisty cuffs. No, you're an argy. <laughs> so you're going to go up to them and challenge them and then grapple them. He's a hugger, not a fighter. Why, yes. Okay. Yes, then. So if you're gonna do it as a surprise attack, then that'd probably go against that code that you have. Oh, it's definitely not a surprise attack. So, yep, roll me the strength plus. Oh, finally, it's not three. It's four. <laughs> you still manage to get someone out and get them away. From a crowd as well. Your uh, your guys keeping watch, not watching you because they don't know you're a kindred. Um, but like, just making sure no one's gonna come down the alley while you're busy with this dude. And oh yeah, big, big old big old gang fight. <laughs> You might have to feed. Are you feeding all the way? 
or are you letting him live? Depends. Who am I fighting? <laughs> Some mook. Some muck. Yeah. From one of the, the big bastard gangs, or just some idiot in the wrong place? Just some idiot in the wrong place. Okay, we're he not going to gonna murder gangs. idiots in the wrong place. Mostly because I like to save that for the ones that are more satisfying to murder. Fair. Uh, much hunger? You, heal, you feed up until you've got one hunger left. Excellent. Because... If you see if you killed him, you would have fed all your hunger gone. Yeah, that would be. But you feed that. up until you he he will stay alive. You then kind of get rid of the marks on his neck, and then just drop him. Get rid of the marks on his neck. How? By making it worse, probably. But <laughs> <laughs> it's just so battered and bruised. Another whim for the Mancunian Gentleman Society. Um, but yeah. You spend your time with your guys for a little bit. Then, and then Kaz and Lillian, are you doing anything specific? Waiting for the gangrel to wake up? I've got a couple hours to spare. I suppose I could go out and see if I can't find any interesting individuals for the parts. You're just gonna start scouring for living specimens. Yes. Hey, you may not have that? to scour that far. It is a it is a undertaking service, which means there is a funeral. Yeah, it's like right more there. There. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, but you did say don't touch. But he did give you a body, so... Yeah. That's been put in one second. Thing. And you said it didn't have any organs or anything at the moment. Mm. Bearing in mind that I'm also probably going to be using a mixture of human and animal corpse, so... Unless you're also doing animal funerals, <laughs> I don't think you have everything. And again, we're not far enough out in the sticks for that kind of thing. Everybody's gone super quiet. Welcome back. So Welcome you're going back. out scouring for prey in a different sense. Yeah. I only are get you sleepers, so I'm good. <laughs> are you trying to snatch anyone up right now, or are you just trying to put like a eye on people. Unless I can, like, safely snatch somebody up, it'll probably just, like, be putting, like, eye slash mark type situation. It'll probably be... You, you realize it'll probably be safer to mark them for later and then collect if need be. Hmm. Um... So it's it's still like, you know... 10 something pm 10:30 still quite a few people on the streets go going home from work or going to the bars um you might just spot one or two people that you think might work and john will follow them home essentially excellent john will find them and find out where they live Give me enough um, details so that I don't have to work that much. Good yeah. Boy. Um, Cass, yes. are you doing anything in the couple hours it's going to take for this gangrel to wake up? Uh, I suppose if them two have gone out hunting, I probably should do as well. Um, You'd probably know a particular place where people who follow you like to hang out, like a specific bar, yeah. or anything like that. 
One that you've kind of frequented with them. Oh. Yeah. Um, so you can go there and find a few members of your herd. Yeah. Um, and you can hang out with them for a little bit. They probably won't give you any vials of blood tonight, but you could feed off them. I mean, surely if I'm having the chance to feed off them, I'd have time to just fill up some vials with their blood at that time. Instead of feeding off them right here and now, because by fed already. Silence, accept your fair, you cheeky biscuit. So you'd have to then convince them. That's fine. Because they're not really here for that. Hang on. How do I read stuff again? Oh, that. That has nothing said in it. Uh, Who are you looking at? I was just looking at the advantages to see if it said anything about those things, but it doesn't. About what? Because I was checking like the uh, herd groupies thing, but it doesn't say anything in there about it. It's just a free dot. You haven't written it down. That's why. So what would I need to roll? Just give me a sec. I would, before you roll anything, if you are trying to convince them, roll, uh, activate all as a discipline. I mean, if yeah. you're convincing them, if you're convincing them on the point um, that you're using your fame and their uh, quote-unquote desire, yeah, she um, so. yeah. Uh, um, so let me just check. Something because did you spend extra points to get more in fame? To get fame, it has been so long since we made these characters, Dion. I have no idea. Okay, what is it? It's because to get fame, um, there, Osiris. Well, no, because okay, Osiris okay. only lets you put three dots between herd and fame, and she's got three dots in her in herd and two dots in fame. That's why I'm asking. No, that makes sense. Uh, she gets seven advantages, and then three dots from Osiris. It's adding up. So she put yeah. more in either fame or herd. Well, um, she. what I mean is the three dots come from Osiris. Um, which means she would have had to spend mm. advantage points to be able to do she did. Uh, fame. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so your seven points are running up there. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to find out what groupies three does. As doesn't really say. So it's just um hold on. Let me pull it up that way. I'm not talking out of my ass here. Uh Perved. Uh, do, do, do. So, a group of vessels that the character may feed from with the concern that they are less loyal than their teams, they can slake hunger with the dot value. So they can slake hunger worth the dot value of the herd each week freely and no roll is required. She can only do it weekly though. And she doesn't yeah. need to roll um, as, so long as she's slaking it. However, um, you're an obvious predator. 
well, no, that's the flaw. No, like, obvious predator with is it. the flaw. Yeah, she didn't yeah. take obvious predator, so she's not. Um, well, so she doesn't. Here's the thing. This is because a, it, feeding off the herd, not bottling the herd. However, I would say she gets three bottles, and she doesn't gain any hunger from this situation until she feeds from the bottles. But that's what I'd say. Okay, you so say completely different. I'll allow that. You get three bottles a week, essentially, from your herd, mm. and each bottle will fill one hunger. So that adds up to what your thing for your free feed from them without any check. Mm. If you want more than that, then you'll have to go through the checks to try and convince the herd to give you more. Okay. Yep. So from this point, we're going to say you have three bottles. Okay. Okay. You don't gain any hunger back right now, and you should still actually have one hunger. Because um, you, you haven't fed to death. So. Yeah, you, you, can, you can only go to zero hunger if you kill somebody, but that's at the trade of humanity. If you feed on someone to death, you lose humanity. Yeah. Um, so what's the point of feeding off the bottles, then, if it's not reducing it? No, you no, that's not what it. we're saying. We're saying, the, so you are gaining from this situation, unless yeah. you're eating a bottle right now. Well, um, I, I did have a bottle in the morning, is what I'm saying. To Yeah, because your morning. hunger increased to two. Yeah, oh, it, yeah your hunger increased to two, so it's back to one. You cannot go past the, you cannot go past the one point. Go? Unless you kill um, someone. You kill someone. And that causes you to lose humanity. Now, there's ways to gain humanity, but I'm ultimately, if you lose all your humanity, you become confused on that. Okay. okay. Why? What, what's confusing? Confuse why yeah. it went to two rather than just one? Does it go up to two if you fail, or is it because of the you failed? Yes. Two? If you you fail... failed your rouse check this morning, so it went to two. Then you so, drank a vial, and it yeah, went back down to what one. What I'm saying is, does it always go up by twos? No, it only goes no, up by one, up but by you one. can't go below one. Hunger. Oh, yeah, you are always stuck at one hunger because that's okay. the beast. That one is the beast. That's right. In order to, yeah, if you want to go below one, that's you when have you to kill someone. someone to death. Yeah. But if you do that, you lose humanity, and that's bad. Okay, I get it now. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, I'm so one hunger. Yeah. So you'll have three bottles. And unless, if you want to get more, you have to then start trying to convince them to give you more. Yeah. Because um, you get three free bottles a week that will reduce one hunger. Also, meta, no meta, but you do know a dude that owns a business where he bottles people's organs and blood. Uh, just saying. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've got Iron Gullet. It's uh, Iron Gullet 3. You're, you're kind of good to drink the dead blood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, it'd be oh. easy to get it from Wolf's business. Um, but yeah. So, we'll say you get three from that encounter. Okay. But that's all you have right now. Um, in a week's time, you can get three more, or try and convince people or find other sources. Um, with that, the two hours do pass. You all reconvene at midnight. Um, at Wolf's place. And Wolf and Zane, you've kind of been watching over the body in this time. Either continuing conversation or sitting in awkward silence. Um, I think there is a point that the conversation just ends, is Wolf, very wide-eyed, wide smile, uh, is looking at Zane just in silence. The eyes, the wide, yellowed eyes are almost as disturbing as the big black ones that you can see in your nightmares. 
<laughs> yeah, Zane is just casually, you know, looking at the body, looking up to the roof, like, oh, this is a nice roof. The floor looks very neat and clean. Well, this is very nice. I love this place so much. And then at one point, as you look down to the body, a pair of, like, eyes are staring up at you. Oh, my God. I don't like the looking eyes around. The eyes coming for me. <laughs> this is about when everyone's arriving back. Like, still, like, he looks still a little, like, half-crazed, but he's mm. not snarling, he's, his more bat-like features have receded a bit with the vitae you poured into him. And he's kind of, like, looking around, and then notices he doesn't have arms. Don't worry, okay. I'll sew them back on. He kind of looks at you, he's like, where, where am I? You are in a lovely little place in Manchester. Manchester. Oh, I just got in on a ship. Just got in on a ship. Hi. Thank Might I answer. ask just some questions? Is this all could... you remember? I remember getting off the ship and on the barge, and heading down the canal into Manchester. I was here nearly a night before. I don't remember what? I woke up here. Get some things to check through. What is your name? Uh, Edward. Edward Morey. Age? Uh, about 70. Does he look 70? No, he looks probably around like mid, late 20s. Oh, thank God. That would have been an awkward. Good conversation if you didn't know. <laughs> oh, good. That I'm kindred, yeah, I know that much. Anarch Camarilla, they who shall not be named for reasons beyond accords. Guess Anarch, they, uh, that's what my sire was, but he was like some weird French dude and didn't stick around very long, so. A lot of weird French gang girls. Anyways! Just to give you a little bit of a filler on what you missed. Um, he's going to reach over to Corpse, who's handing him up a little notepad as he's going to flip through the notes. You were kidnapped. Adult napped. Kindred napped. And used for horrible, horrific experiments by a Camarillas. Camarillas? Camarillas? Camavillains. <laughs> we saved you after having to, you know, almost kill you. No offense, but offenses can be taken. If so, he's got a point over to Jax. He's the one that you should take offense for. On that, um, we're going to ask you some questions. All right. You don't, you don't have to answer them, but it may help. First off, first question, this question being for me. Hi, hello. Do you prefer apple pie or cherry? Uh, I guess I like apple when I was alive. Wonderful. Anybody else has any other questions? Not gonna lie, not entirely sure how to follow up such a uh, unique beginning to a line of questioning. <laughs> I love unique beginnings. There's a time that I was hunting a chupacabra. That was a unique beginning. Turns out it was one of us. Good mm. lord. 
I've heard of good cop, bad cop, but apparently we got hungry cop on the way to date, so... By what you have stated to me today, sir, I can only take the assumption that that means that you do not indeed remember anything that happened down there in that basement, am I correct? No. Hmm. You do not remember anything aside from the ship you were on, yes? I remember getting into um, Manchester on the barge. Was there for a little bit, getting the lay of the land, introduced myself to your prince or baron or whatever, and then nothing. Uh, remind me, what? Which clan do you belong to again? Is it lineage? I never quite remember the correct term. I'm a gangrel. Like him. I can't remember what that man's opinions on gangrels was. Which man? The one who, uh, thought that I was tasty. Worm pure. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like gangrels. Strange, very, very Venture strange. Scum. You are most certainly gonna be an anomaly in that man's ledger. Where is Where the last is place that you remember before your memories black out on us? Oh. I want you to think I... real hard about this one. For me. I remember being in uh, the gardens. Uh, I think one of the gardens in the city. Just trying to find a place. You know. Well, there's only about two of them, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Assuming it wasn't a private garden. Ha! You think Manchester has private gardens? Ha! Well, this is more built up than a congested giant's asshole, um? <laughs> they did, uh... Um... I did hear... Some talk, I think. Before I went... Before I for don't remember anything. Well, no, do someone, tell. I think someone said there's use even for uh, Limpago's blood. I guess. I think that's what was said. What? Repeat that. Uh, thought I heard, I was, uh, just, you know, I was looking for, uh, food. And, um, sure I heard someone say there is use for even Limpago's blood. Well, that definitely sounds like who we're talking about here. I mean, most certainly. There's a sort of fella who fought that way. Didn't see no one, though. Didn't really smell him, either. I suppose that continues to check out into this man's profile. Why does it sound like you have a little book about... you're writing things down, Jax? The name very much does ring the bell. Hmm. And only because you're a gangrel. Mm -hmm. Limpago is the name of a very ancient and very powerful uh, gangrel. She hasn't been to the U to England, as far as you know, but she's. Been a bit of a terror in America, in America. Mm -hmm. But she's quite known amongst gangrels because she can. She she's fairly powerful compared to most, given that she can take the form of like any creature she's consumed and 
she's got she's had a long time feud with the Ravenos elder with a Ravenos elder as well yeah she's um, one of our yeah she's a, she's mm. old she's not um, too old she's old no old. yeah yeah but she's also kind of a feared figure that most kindred especially in America don't particularly want around anymore are you related to her i don't know i don't even know who it is that they're talking about but i didn't really get much off my sire before he fucked off somewhere where do you come from uh well i was uh born in ireland i was a sailor most of my life um was docked in france when i was turned Stayed there for a while with my sire and then decided to travel back here on a ship. Had to stow away, like. But. I got back here. Fascinating. Truly, a little bit useless, but fascinating. Do you remember nothing about those who kidnapped you, those who bonked you on the head? Oh, it's strange. Like I said, I didn't even smell them. They were like they weren't there. Like they weren't there. The somber, maybe? They're pretty good at that. Tremere probably have a spell for that. You can smell a Toyador and a Ventura a mile away. Their cologne and perfume pollutes the air. Mm. Malkavian's allowed. He says, looking over at Kaz. It's not me that's loud, it's the rest of the world that's loud. So are Brujas. Oh, yes. You'll hear absolutely Brujas. no declinations of that from this side of the room. I know very few Ravnosses that would serve the Ivory Tower nowadays. Hmm. Sorry, You're I can't so do hmm? No, go on. I was just gonna say, sorry, I can't be more used to you. I really don't remember anything beyond the park. Oh, no, no, it's perfectly fine. If anything, I'm sorry for you. Left alone in this world by a sire. Only to be kidnapped by the ivory tower. Who'd like to take him to meet the Baron? Can I have my arms back first? Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Do you like out. to be awake for such procedures, or would you rather we knock you out again? I'll be fine awake, I think. I'd rather not lose any more memory. <laughs> He's going to begin uh, with needle and thread sewing the arms back on. So that way, uh, what's his face can start stitching. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, I should state um, in his time waiting, uh, we did, uh, Wolf did stitch his flesh back together. So it is. Yeah. He spent a lot of that time here. Um, but. He will stitch, and as he does, he'll look. Who would like to uh, bring him to the Baron? Or 
But shall we all go? Yeah, I get the feeling this is one of those don't everyone jump at one tasks where I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> Might be best really? if we all go. Perfect! Zane! Hey, girl. Wait, I didn't say that in character. Hey. <laughs> hey, girl! I, I just... <laughs> what new <Sunday>. phrase? <laughs> He's not Sorry, I went into the future. I can I can see the future. Hey, it's girl, exists. Like <laughs> it's okay. I didn't need. I I didn't actually need you. I just knew you were off doing something, and so I wanted to uh, catch you off guard. Oh, thanks for that. You're welcome. So we shall take our newly acquired friend here to the Baron. And discuss with the barons the going ons. And then I'm going to take a little of a trip to the North City. Do a little bit of looking. You're more than free to join me if you also desire. Unless the baron sends us to do something else. And then, I mean... It is as it is. Fair enough. With that, before you go to visit the Baron with your new gangrel in hand, um, we're going to end for the night because it is like ten quarter, just past quarter to eleven. No, that is a okay. Um, so thank you for tuning in to Manchester by night. I hope you enjoyed the session. Um, if anyone wants to plug any other projects, you're welcome to. Superheroes. Start if you enjoyed, uh, if you... Oh, go on. Start Blunder and the uh, Sirens Through the Fog over on uh, Spotify. Echoes of the Past over on Chocobo Keeper's channel. Devil Darling's over here. I think we'll be able to mention it. Unless you miss <laughs> Fish for the fish gods. <laughs> Crustaceans for the crustacean throne. Milk for the cheese lord. Oh. With that, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time.